Hey everyone, and welcome to What Did I Miss? Where today, I'll be sharing with you some information that has come out about the third season of Star Trek Picard. Mainly, how we will be seeing the newest and latest version of the USS Enterprise, and how it could play into the plot of next season. Last week, at Comic-Con in San Diego, members of the cast and crew of Picard were on hand for a presentation, which also featured the return of some of the Next Generation vets that will be appearing on screen again. A very short teaser and some character portraits of what the senior staff of the Enterprise D and E will look like when we meet them again on Picard were also shown and the cast took some questions from the audience. But since the presentation, even more details have been released to the public about the third and final season, besides the return of the Next Generation cast, including which cast members will be returning from the last season of Picard, as well as what we can expect from the villain. But before I get into all of that, I want to thank you as always for clicking on this video and ask that if you do enjoy it to help me out by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. I will be making some big announcements about the channel in the coming weeks, so be sure to be subscribed so you know what is happening. First, let's cover what we know about the third season of Picard even before Comic-Con, which is that several members of the Next Generation cast will be appearing again. Though there has been no confirmation as to if we will see them all again at the same time, there have been some things said that would lead us to believe that we won't get to see the cast team up again on an adventure in full. This may have been revealed way back in 2020, when LeVar Burton spilled the beans to Entertainment Tonight. He indicated that he and his fellow cast members would be returning, but that the audience would probably not see them all together again. Yeah, you're, you're doing it? Yeah, you'll see us all. I think you'll see us all. You'll see us all. Probably not all at the same time. This makes a lot of sense, actually, considering that this season was filmed right after and sometimes during the filming of the second season of Picard, which was right around the time when the COVID restrictions on productions were at their height. This would make it more difficult for a production to even have so many people in a room together to film a scene. One filming technique that the studio could have used that many other studios have utilized is to film each actor alone and then combine them all together in post-production through the use of green screen technology. However, it is hard to do that for more than one or two scenes, so even if it was used, I doubt we will see the crew all together again for long, if at all. Another aspect of the third season that we learn more about is the villain, whose series executive producer Terry Metalis has confirmed is one single entity or person, and that they took inspiration from the Khan character. He also confirmed that it is a character that we have not seen before, but that they will be played by an actress that we have seen a million times. Now, the million times remark led some fans to believe that this will be an actress from Trek that is playing a new character, but Mr. Metalis also stated on Twitter that that is not the case. Given the fact that at the end of the second season of Picard, it seemed like Jean-Luc had opened up to the idea of a lasting, meaningful relationship with another person, this will probably come into play. Laris seemed very willing to enter into a relationship with him, but as of right now, I do not think that her involvement next season has been even mentioned. I think that it would be a great narrative irony if the season starts out with Jean-Luc Picard in love with someone, and then have that person turn out to be one of his greatest villains. But the thing that I think that everyone was talking about after Comic-Con, besides Worf's look, was a comment made by Picard himself, Sir Patrick Stewart. He stated at the panel that at one point the cast returned to the old Enterprise and that he had forgotten about the carpet. Now this statement could mean many things. If you recall, the last Enterprise bridge that Picard was captain of was the Enterprise E, which was featured in several films, including Star Trek Nemesis. In Nemesis, the ship was badly damaged and was being refit at the end of the movie. In the Picard universe, decades have passed since Nemesis, so it is likely that this ship is no longer in service. What this statement could mean is that once again time travel will be a part of next season and we will see a new scene on the bridge of the Enterprise E, or possibly the D version, the ship used during the Next Generation series. Or perhaps, we will see a flashback scene instead, since time travel is used so heavily in the show's second season. But since that comment was made at Comic-Con, executive producer Terry Metalis has used his Twitter page to heighten fans' excitement. He responded to a fan who had shared the quote from Sir Patrick Stewart that I just mentioned and left a coy statement that continually referenced the letter F. His tweet makes it seem like we don't see a return to an Enterprise that we have seen before on screen, but rather to the next version of the ship, the Enterprise F. This would be the ship that carried the Enterprise name that would have been launched following the destruction or the decommission of the last version of the Enterprise we saw on screen, the Enterprise E. While this is exciting news, what is even more exciting is how this ship will play into the events of next season. The newest teaser, while short, does reveal a few things about the cast, such as that Geordi LaForge is not only a father, but that he has risen to the rank of Commodore. This rank, I believe, is the one right under Admiral. But I think that unlike an Admiral, a Commodore can still be the captain of a vessel. If this is true, it would make sense for Commodore LaForge to be at the helm of the Enterprise F, 
given his history with both prior ships to bear the name. However, in the teaser, he mentions being a father now, which could hint that he is not focused on his career as much as someone would be that is at the helm of the flagship of the Federation. As a side note, I am very glad that Geordi did eventually meet someone and have kids after being in the friend zone for seven seasons of The Next Generation. I mean honestly, how did this guy have more relationships on the show than this guy? But anyway, because of this I don't think that Geordi will be at the helm of the Enterprise F, but I'm sure that he designed most of it. Another candidate could be Seven, who was given a field commission in the season finale of Picard to captain the Stargazer. This would be a fun nod to the fans of The Next Generation and Voyager forever linking the two series, but even though it was shown that Seven will be a member of Starfleet during the third season, during the teaser you can see that she has the rank of Commander. Incidentally, this would give her the same rank as Rafi, who is also returning, but since she is not seen in a Starfleet uniform, this may hint that she has not chosen to re-enlist. A far out choice for Captain of the Enterprise F could be Brent Spiner's character, because if you notice, of all the returning cast members, his picture is the only one that has not been shown. We did hear his voice in the first teaser for the season, but again, it is very odd that we have yet to see his face. This could hint that he is playing a character we have seen before, forgive the pun, or that he is playing another version of Data. If Data was somehow resurrected, he could be the next captain of the Enterprise, but if this were to happen, it would totally make Data's first and second deaths meaningless. Still, it is interesting that we have not seen the picture of Brent Spiner yet for Season 3. Let me know in the comments what your theories are about who he could be playing. But I think that the most likely candidate to be the captain of the Enterprise is Worf. In the teaser, if you zero in on his collar, you can see four pips, which means that he does have the rank of captain. The last time we saw Worf, he was off to become an ambassador between the Klingon Empire and the Federation after both ruling bodies were forced to rebuild after the Dominion War. Worf has strong ties to not only the Next Generation, but also Deep Space Nine, a series that is beloved by fans, but has not seen any of its characters return in any new series. Even though in each new series being produced by Star Trek, we have seen characters return from the Next Generation, Voyager, and even the original series. Personally, I also think that it would be powerful to show an African American actor as the captain of the USS Enterprise, which is something that is probably long overdue. Plus, having a Klingon captain of the vessel would also make a statement about race relations in universe as well, considering that the Klingons were hated enemies of the Federation for many years. Not to mention that the actor himself, Michael Dorn, has been pitching a story about his character that he referred to as Captain Worf to Star Trek producers for years, so it's very possible that they took parts of his own story and incorporated it into the final season of Picard. Odds are that if the ship is a part of the Next Generation cast adventure next season, they would need the captain of the Enterprise to even get on the ship, let alone commandeer it. Since we know that Captain Riker is not the captain of the Enterprise after his appearance in the first season of the series, and Geordi is probably not setting off into space anymore and instead is a family man, the only logical choice would be Worf. That is just what I think. Let me know in the comments if you think that we will see Captain Worf on the Enterprise. Well, that is everything I have this week, but let me know in the comments if I missed anything. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please hit that like button if you have enjoyed it, and I will see you next time on What Did I Miss?